demon. It was right in front of me. And oh, it was horrible looking. I mean, it was yucky. Yucky. What's up guys, it's Gabe here. I'm here with Ginger Ziggler. Today we're gonna to be talking about demonic attacks, how to overcome them, how to beat them. While we live down here on this earth, you are not called to be a loser. You are a winner in Christ Jesus. We're gonna be doing an interview about a demonic attack and how you beat that demon and, and how you <laughs> overcame. There's someone wondering, are demons real? Uh, do they exist? Where where are they? And what is like their, their purpose? To follow everything that Satan is telling them to do and Satan is telling them to destroy us. But Jesus' blood is more powerful than that. And so is his word and so is his name. So uh, they are real and I have actually seen them. I, you know, I've seen angels too. So I just want to make sure there's more angels. You realize there's more angels mm. than there are demons. Yeah. I've had a few experiences with them actually manifesting and so this happened several years ago. I was helping someone, uh, they were very sick and uh, it was three o'clock in the morning and I was very, very tired. And I laid down on a little couch, went to sleep for 15 minutes. And when I woke up, I woke up standing on my feet, just like this. And I was so surprised because all of a sudden there was this demon, it was right in front of me. And oh, it was horrible looking. I mean, it was yucky, yucky. I could describe every detail of it. And I was like, I'd only been asleep 15 minutes and I was trying to think what to do. And I said, I rebuke you in Jesus name. And the thing just went, oh yeah. You know, like this thing didn't move. And I said, oh, 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 and I did it again. I said, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. And then it didn't move. So I said, Lord, this is not working. Help me. Tell me what to do because this guy is just staring me down. And so then I said something. I don't even know how to describe this except it, the, in my feet. It felt like this power came up all the way up. And this power, power, power of God, it just came, came out my mouth. And my mouth said, the blood. Mm. And this thing did this. And I thought, wow, that worked. I was me wow. <laughs> in the middle yeah. of this thing. <laughs> and then I went, wow, that worked. And I went, the blood. Mm. And the thing stepped back a couple of times. And I went, yeah, and I got really brave then. So I stepped forward and I said, the blood, the blood, the blood. And I could physically see wow. the demon with my physical wow. eyes. I was wide awake. I knew exactly what was going on. But I could see that thing as plain as daylight. And I just kept saying the blood, the blood. And you know what was really interesting though, Gabe? I didn't even say the blood of Jesus. I just said the blood. The blood. And that thing wow. knew who I was talking about. Wow. And then I just backed that thing out of there and I said, wow. Wow, what just happened? Because that is the power of the blood of Jesus. Wow. And so that was just one time. Wow. <laughs> it was amazing. That's, no, that's amazing. And and you know what's so what's so amazing about that is the, the Bible completely backs that true yes. ex testimony experience you had. Revelations twelve eleven. That's right. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives into the death. Your heart was already for Jesus Christ. The things yes. we're telling you right now, um, you cannot take the things we're telling you and then try to use it if you haven't given your heart to Jesus Christ. Um, this is not just some like um, mm -hmm. specific mental formula that you do uh, to yeah. beat the demons. No, firstly, you must have your heart in the right place. Firstly, you must be made Jesus your Lord, your everything. Yes. And you, you had made Jesus your Lord, but then you, the, the blood, uh, you know, there's so many, um, demonic rituals and, and, and things that, that take, uh, human blood and try to use it in a perversion, but the pure blood, the blood is Jesus Christ. I've, it's, it's That's funny. Right. I've actually, I've never heard it like that, but that makes complete sense. Yeah. There's no blood as powerful as the blood of the lamb. He was without a spot. He was without any guilt. He was without any mistakes. He was the perfect sacrifice. And he was the perfect sacrifice made for us, made in our place. Well, see the thing about the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is the very power and life of God Almighty. Wow. Satan has no access to the blood of Jesus, mm. but Jesus has given us wow. his blood. And he said there in Revelation 12, that's what he was saying. You overcome Satan. Think about this, Gabe. Satan himself, just by going the blood. I was just learning this. This is a long time ago. I really 
didn't understand this. This is about way back in the 70s, and now I got it. And so sometimes if you can't say the name of Jesus and you can't remember the scriptures and you're like this, just say the blood, the blood. And that devil knows exactly who you are wow. talking about. And that life dispels darkness and death every single time. When you were sick wow. and you were in the hospital, do you yeah. know how many times I did that for you? Wow. I mean, I would say, come on, devil, we're going to go wrestle because he is not going to die. He is going to live because I'm speaking the blood, yes. the blood, the blood. Yes. And it's it's amazing you, you say that because when I was in that hospital and when I was in a in a coma and the doctors were saying evil, saying I was about to die, <laughs> I was in heaven. And with Jesus, and He showed me these these bridges, these foundations of the Word of God yeah. in people's mouth, yeah. being spoken. And and when I came back, I was so convinced. And Jesus had shown me how I was able to come back to the earth on the words yes. of God in our mouth. God is waiting on you to speak his word if you want the victory. If you want this W that we're talking about, W meaning win. If you want this, you must choose to accept it, believe it, and then speak it. Yes. You must choose to do something with it. You know, God cannot just um, do uh, take care of the devils in your life if he wants to. And if he doesn't want to, he won't. No, yeah. no, he is already chosen that he doesn't want you to lose to demonic attack. He wants you to win, but you have to take authority. But you know, Gabe, I want to really encourage the people because there's a scripture that talks about the sons and they went in and they, they were like telling this demon come out of here and, and Paul talks about it and he in, in the book of Acts, they sure. were saying, demon, you come out. And you know what those demons said to him? What? We know Jesus and we know, but we don't know these sons, these people that are trying to say all of this. Mm -hmm. Who are you exactly? So you have to know Jesus Christ in a very personal, wow. in-depth way. And wow. you've got to know the written word. And you've got to understand with revelation wow. that you have been given authority. You don't start taking authority over stuff that you really... I don't spank the kids that live next door. They're not mine. They're not under my authority, <laughs> you know? And so you can't start taking authority mm. over something that God himself has not given you revelation of and has not given you authority over. That's good. Jesus said in Luke ten nineteen, he's given you power over all power of the enemy. Nothing by any means shall hurt you or harm you in yeah. any way. But that's got to be a reality to you. Wow, that's so good. Some people may be wondering, well, uh, can y'all just pray for me that I would never face any more demonic attack on earth and that I would never face a bad thought again? And no, no, no. Here's the reality. While you live down on earth, you will face battles. You are, you are on this earth. You're going to face demons. You're going to face demonic attack. The good news is you can win. You, you can never pray a prayer to never get a bad thought again. We all have a mind and you can't stop bird. Okay. Just like you can't stop birds from flying in the sky, right? You can't. But now you can stop them from making a nest in your head. Uh, uh, you know, thank God we don't have birds in our head right now. Because we don't. if a bird tried to get in our head, we cast it out. And that's what you got to do with evil thoughts. That's what you got to do with temptation. That's what you got to do with the devil trying to get at you. Because a lot of demonic attacks will attack that mind. Yeah. And they will attack that mind. And so you've got to always choose to go back to who you are in Christ Jesus. Yes. And you've got to know the written word, though, mm. Gabe. That's yes. what's important. Yes. And you've got to know the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And you think, oh, my God, you know, here this lady's older. So she's had all these years to be able to do this. God is doing such an amazing outpouring of the Holy Spirit right now that yeah. he is just pouring Praise his spirit God. on all flesh. And so it's not going to take you forever to learn like it took me. Mm -hmm. I didn't have anybody helping me. We're here helping you. You can learn really fast. But not only do we have this demonic thing, but we have all these angels. I've seen angels too, 20 feet tall, all kinds of things. And you got to know that God is with you. God is for you. God is on your side. But you have to know him in an intimate, personal mm -hmm. way. I call him my Boaz because I've learned that he is mm -hmm. everything I need. He's my healer. He's my financier. He's my Lord. He's my Savior. He's whatever. He's my peace if that's what I need at that time. Whatever you need. And he's there when demonic activity tries to come against you. Wow. Does Praise that help you? God. Yes. 
Wow, well, and I'm convinced that whoever's watching this video is helping you as well. <laughs> Guys, I want to say, be sure to go subscribe to Ginger Ziegler uh, Ministries. She, her, I will put her channel down in the description below. She uh, really has so much, honestly, more uh, wisdom, more experience. She has been walking with God, and uh, sh she knows way more than I do, and, and so I want to honor her. So you guys go subscribe to her, okay? Um, it will bless you. You're going to learn so much from her channel. The link is down in the description below. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, let's, let's say a prayer before everyone yes, leaves yes, over them. Yes. Um, so, Lord God, we just join in agreement here. And we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over this viewer right now. We plead the blood and we thank you for opening up their eyes. They understand the power of the blood of Jesus. And Lord God, we, we take authority yes. over any uh, demon, demonic attack attacking the viewer of this video. Lord God, and we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen.